Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I am your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at installing what I personally believe is the best uh, FTP client. Now, an FTP client, what that is, it means that you're going to connect to your web domain or wherever you're hosting it at. You'll put in your username as well as your password and where they could actually find it or where the FTP client can find it. This FTP client is going to be called FileZilla. Uh, so let's go ahead and get it started. Now it's actually pretty easy to install. For most of you running almost any Ubuntu version, it should just simply be uh, sudo apt get install file, and then Zilla, like Godzilla, all one word. Press enter, type in your password, which should be invisible. And there you go, it's 13.1 megabytes. So that's all you need to do to install that. I'll let that install in the background. Now, if for some reason you happen to type in that command, and for some reason it just didn't work, or it's saying it's unable to locate those packages, then you're going to need to uh, use this PPA. So go ahead and either reopen that terminal or just use the terminal that you have that's still open, and first copy this command, or type it in. We're going to then next update our source list by typing in this command or again copying. And finally we're going to install it with the same command which is sudo apt get install filezilla. And that's it, now you should have it installed. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like. Alright, so we're going to go up to our applications. We will then go to uh, internet and there it is, FZ. So let's go ahead and click and open it up, blah blah blah. So how this is going to work is your host, that's either going to be your web address which is going to be you know, www.whatever.com or something.com. Uh, your username is going to be the username that you use to log into where that web address is actually located or where your hosting is actually at. So it could be GoDaddy, uh, one and one um, whatever, you know, there's tons of them out there. And you're gonna same use that uh, password. You normally don't have to worry about the port, so don't worry about that. Then you'll just click connect the cool thing about this is once you've done that once, if you come over here in this little area, you'll just go ahead and hit that. And if you have multiple domains that you want to work with and uh, web hosting services, then you can just click that and pick and choose which one you want and it'll automatically fill that out. Now this top part right here, all this is going to talk about is uh, what's going on. So when files get transferred, it's going to tell you where they're getting transported. That's just kind of your data information that's happening. Um, now this left side is going to be your local site, so this is going to be everything that's uh, connected to your computer. So as I click on that, as you're going to see, double click there, there's my home, there's my home directory, and there's all that stuff right there. Uh, then in each side of, or uh, when you click on highlight stuff, as you see, there's all the files that's inside that one document. Oh sorry, down here is going to be where all the information is going to be at. can't remember what exactly is going to, something's going to happen up there, we don't really need to worry about that. Um, and then the remote site. The remote site, this site is going to be all your files of where you're uh, connected to in your host. So whatever your domain service that you're using, any files that you transfer from here, you can drag and drop them if you want to, uh, will be then shown over here as well. And again, just like you can see your files over here by highlighting, you'll do it over there as well. And that's pretty much it. Uh, in the bottom corner, you'll notice things that have been failed and successful. If you're uploading a ton of files, it might be a good idea to just come in here and double check, click the failed transfers and see if you've had any failed files so you can go in there and manually do it yourself and see why it actually failed. And that's all you really need to know the basics understanding of FileZilla. Now of course we can come up here and do a little bit more of editing but besides just getting things done and transferring uh, files for the most standard basic user, that's all you're going to need to know for how FileZilla uh, Zilla works. Uh, again, if you do have any questions or comments, uh, you can go ahead and leave them in the section below. Uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you haven't already done that. And as always, thanks for watching.